One of the important features that we had in a rotary engraving software was the ability to press one key and have our text or logo auto layout. In Corel Draw, we don't have this same ability. We do have the ability to distribute objects evenly, but to have one key just to press and have our, our text auto layout within a certain predefined area on our plate, we cannot do this in Corel Draw. However, we can set a, ma a macro up so that we can do this, so that when we do press one key, our text and objects will automatically lay out within a specified area on our plate. In this tutorial, we will show you how to do this. Here in Corel Draw, you can see that I've got some text laid out on my screen. The first thing I need to do when I'm setting up the auto layout is to drag out some guidelines and place them on the margins of my plate. In this case, it's going to be at 5.5 inches on my 6 by 4 by 6 inch plate and down at my 0.5 inch margin. So I've got a half inch margin at the top and a half inch margin at the bottom. Now select your text, go to Arrange, break the artistic text apart. This allows the text now to be selected individually as far as the lines go. Notice how each line can be selected individually. I typically like to place snap to guidelines on here for this command. This allows me to drag up the text and it will snap to the guideline at the top. Notice how there's a bit of a solid blue line that indicates that the text is snapping to the guideline. Now, Select all your text. So I've taken one line to the top guideline. I've taken the bottom line to the bottom guideline. With the text selected, I'm going to go to... We can also select with the Select All under Edit. Go to Arrange, Align, and Center to Page Horizontally. Just to make sure my, my text is centered left to right. Now. Go to Align and Distribute and then open the Align and Distribute command. Select the Distribute tab, select Center Spacing, make sure that we have extensive selection and just click Apply. And notice how my text will evenly distribute throughout the selected area. And notice how it is distributed based on the top line and the bottom line. Again, do it again, just click Apply and notice how my text evenly spaces itself out. That's a quick way of doing an auto layout. We will now create a macro using the auto layout sequence we just created so that we can do this with text in any job with one click. Here's a bunch of text that I have. Again, it's broken apart, but it's just randomly placed on the desktop. To create a macro, select macro, start recording. Type in a macro name. In this case, I'm typing auto layout. And I'm going to call it two because I've got a couple of other ones. Make sure the global macro is selected. Once you click OK, the macro command starts recording everything you do in terms of mouse clicks and commands. So now the macro is running. So I select everything. That's my first click. I'm going to go to arrange, align and distribute center page horizontally so that's the second step the third step is just to go to align and distribute go to distribute center and apply close go back to macro and stop recording now the macro has been saved it's called auto layout 2 so let's just undo and let's just show you how now with the macro created, I can go now to macro, run the macro. I'm going to select the global macros because that's where I saved it. And it's auto layout two. And just going to select run. And notice how everything auto layouts without me even having to press a command. Very simple. This is very important. Uh, macro creating is a great way of speeding up things you do within Corel on repetitive. Now, let's create a hotkey and a toolbar item for the auto layout command key so that we all we have to do is press a 
hotkey and our layout will start. So let's undo our text again. So it's all randomly laid out again. Notice how I have my top line and my bottom line on the baseline or the margins where I need. Now we go to command, go to search. I'm just going to select macros here and we want the auto layout macro too, which is the top one. I'm going to assign a shortcut key. In this case, I'm going to give it a capital A. Notice here when I type capital A, nothing is currently assigned to that letter. I'm going to click assign. So now that macro has the hotkey A assigned to it. I just have to drag that hotkey up now, and I'm just going to let go on the anywhere. I could do it on the over top of the toolbar. Now I'm going to get a floating toolbox. I'm going to drag that into the toolbar. And notice how now I have a little icon here. Just click OK. That icon actually is my hotkey now. And I just press A and notice how everything lays out automatically. Pretty slick. Again, I could click on the toolbar item and it does the same thing. Or I can just press capital A and guess what? Everything lays out automatically. One click. 